You've been paying taxes for years for this, and now the city of Raleigh is asking for more help to overall overhaul local transit, but it won't necessarily improve traffic. CBS 17's Holden Kowicki is digging deeper to find out how the program works and why the city still needs millions to make this program a reality. Every month, more than 50,000 people ride the Go Raleigh bus up and down New Bern Avenue, and the city of Raleigh believes they have a plan to up those numbers. Certainly these projects uh, we think are an alternative to vehicles. Bus rapid transit isn't a new concept nationwide, but it is new to the Triangle. So I asked City Transportation Administrator David Eatman what that could mean to Triangle drivers. You're thinking about improved reliability. Um, at times, certainly improved speeds or travel distance uh, is shorter. And then the amenities are of a much higher quality than what we've experienced with our existing network. Eatman says the plan would eliminate old bus stops along New Bern Avenue, along with Capitol Boulevard, Western Boulevard, and Wilmington Street. And instead of uh, a regular bus stop, we are talking about state with level boarding, real-time passenger information, um, and they would occur up and, up and down the corridor. Additionally, entire lanes of traffic would need to be dedicated to city buses. We're not always necessarily going to reduce traffic volumes because we're a growing area, so we're going to see that happen. The plan comes with a price tag in the neighborhood of $60 million, and you've been paying for it since 2017 through a half-cent sales tax. But that's not enough. Even with that uh, robust funding source, it does take a partnership with our federal partners. Uh, so our financial model currently assumes a 50% match from that. Uh, it's actually eligible for more. That's why city leaders need your input from 6 to 8 Wednesday night at WakeMed in an effort to get the program up and running by 2023. In Raleigh, Holden Krewicki, CBS 17 News.